everybody and it is Tuesday and um, I got a um, camera stand for my makeup event wedding event that's happening in January I don't really talk about like my my everything outside of my health with you guys and I did start a makeup channel years ago and I think I stopped it like after the video like video for but anyway I needed a stand plus it helps for moments like this where I don't have to hold it or I don't have to find a spot in the room where it's like perfectly in height um, so that's what I'm using right now just to see how it works and it works and it's perfect for $13 anyway um, first I want to say that today is starting positive most part um, I have my last um, I forgot what you call it. Brain fog. Allergy testing today. Um, it's going to be for like smoke and fragrance, etc. And hopefully they won't tell me what the doctor told me yesterday. And that was, there isn't, we can do. Just go home and waste all the time and, and energy, you know, on doing nothing but traveling. Gizmo, stop. He's looking your cam my camera right now. Like, he's looking this part. Can you just chill so um i don't want to keep this long but basically i'm doing that today and that's about it i was supposed to have acupuncture like now actually hours ago at eight o'clock that's about 50 minutes away one way and then have to go back to the same location only a mile apart at three o'clock for my my uh, testing so i said i'm not doing both um so um i just got another infusion box uh, that was outside I don't know why they didn't just knock on the door. Like it's outside, it's like 20 degrees. This could have froze, and this would have went bad. So I'm a little disappointed in them. In them. Um, so I'm gonna open this. But my doctor, I've been trying to reach my doctor for months. Um, I'm trying to make this as short as I can, and I swear, short is never short enough. And um, I was trying to reach my doctor for the past like months since I've had home infusions, trying to figure out why they changed my liter once a week to 500 milliliters once a week. Then, um, back and forth, they're like, well, we have to do what the paperwork says when they transfer it over. And they're like, it doesn't make sense because when you get transfer over, it's the same information you were getting at your, at your infusion center, at the cancer center. So, oh my god, my camera's going to die like any moment. Go Gizmo, I have to do this. <laughs> okay, so, um, we had to do that. I've tried to reach the doctor for a month. I've spoken to about 20 nurses. I've called about 20 times. The doctor, um, the nurse called me last night, finally, the actual nurse that I was supposed to speak to, and he says that he's going to retext the doctor, re-message him. The doctor actually spoke to me this morning about an hour ago and says he does not want to do a port surgery or port. He does not want to do a pick line. He doesn't trust it. He doesn't feel comfortable doing it. I would have to find another doctor elsewhere to do that. But that doctor would have to also treat my pots. He can't, do, he can't treat it and have another doctor who's going to do the surgery and, and does it. So um, I'm probably going to do that. I thought this doctor was the perfect doctor. I loved him. He actually trusted me and listened to what I had to say about doing infusions when no other doctor wanted to do it. So I'm sad that I have to now find a new doctor, but I'm going to do what I got to do. But he did agree to do the one liter. He doesn't know why there was a mix up. And we're going to increase it to twice a week. That was before I ordered more infusions last night. So now this is 500. So I'm going to hopefully let them let. I hope they're not going to let me keep it. And then if I need an like, extra boost, then I can use it. But these go bad after I think two weeks. So I don't even know if I can use them unless I use them this week, including the, the one liter twice a week. So I don't know. But there's other stuff in here. I have to use like just other stuff, um, like kits and, and and needles and things like that. Um, next thing is, he did say something that really hurt my heart, and that was that he feels that I am not going to have enough fluids, and that I'm going to ask for more, and, and fluids is not going to be enough. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to keep asking for more. I forget how exactly he worded it, but until about a second ago, but I knew exactly how he said it, and he, it was one sentence, and was, uh, Sarah, but I do feel that this is not going to be enough and that you're going to ask for more. Like, nothing is going to be enough. Something like that. And I go, that's not true. And he was like, this is just how I feel. I just, I, you know, I've seen all your messages. You've been calling a lot. And you've been trying to, like, change your your, your infusion number, etc. I'm like, that's because I can't read you guys. I'm very, you know, I'm a self-advocate. 
like it's been a month and that's how long you guys like and that's with 20 messages imagine if I called you once would it taken you four months to call me back so when he said that I knew right then and there this is not the doctor for me um, plus he did say that if I wanted the port gizmo you removed my camera if I needed the port that um, that I would have to find a doctor anyway so that's what I'm gonna do but in the meantime um, as of uh, like 40 minutes ago I don't even know he said he's changed the my um, prescription to twice a week not once a week and to one liter like it was instead of 500 liters which becomes you know because it only lasts about three days so that is a positive and I'm just gonna have to get I was gonna get poked now twice a week which sucks that's why I wanted a port but since a port, uh, pick lines or not pick lines but a peripheral needle goes in it it's um, it expires it goes bad after like seven days so my nurse my nurse is gonna come here every Monday as normally and insert it get it all set up and then I will take it out clean up as I've been doing she doesn't say the whole time and I'll keep the needle in until my second dose um, within the week and then I will set up for the first time since I never have to set up so she's going to have to teach me that and then I'll take it out um, as I normally do so instead of getting pricked twice a week because I'm getting it twice we're just gonna keep the line in so that's perfect and yeah so I have to go charge my, charge my battery so that I can record the rest of the day. But today is going to be a really blah day. Mine is going to that one appointment for um, <laughs> brain fog again um, for allergy. And uh, oh, guess what I'm wearing on my feet? <laughs> Why? Remember these guys? I love them. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some research on more doctors. It took me about. I don't know. I keep switch. I sw I keep switching how long or changing the time limit of how long it took me to find this doctor. Like every month, it's changed, and that's because the further it it it, it moves away, the you know it, I I forget, which I think is coming for most people. Like when and like oh, so what'd you do for your birthday five years ago? Oh, I don't know. That was five years ago. But if you ask the year before, then it's easier. So I don't know how long it took, but it took a while to find this doctor, and unfortunately, I have to now find a new doctor. But um, I guess in my mind, I keep saying he's doing what I, you know, I wanted. He's he did listen. He just doesn't feel that he feels comfortable doing a port, and that's fine. I do understand it. I think I could have left it at that and not been so. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm getting at. I just completely blacked out again. I wouldn't feel like I have to find a new doctor because of that. But when he said that he thinks I'm feeding for medication and I'm not going to be happy with what I have. That pissed me off. So. Like a bird on a tree. Um, if you wanted to like, develop it, um, you don't have to take it in, but you can do it online for Walgreens. There's oh. a, a SIM card on it. Oh. Yep. Thank you. Where am I going? I'm in the room. So I'm really nervous because the nurse who came in, wow, my hair is crazy, was like, so we're here to look at a rash, a rash, right? And I'm like, no. And I pretty much like rolled my eyes immediately because I swear the last few times I see a dermatologist or allergy doctor, their note says that I have a rash. But normally they ask me why you need to see a doctor while I'm making my appointment. I say, I get rashes here and there, flushing, etc. I'm only going there because I want to be tested. That is my reason why I'm going. And for the same reason, they hear rash, and that's what they put into the paperwork. So they have like a whole setup um, over here that's basically to help test my rash. And so then she's like, were you referred here? Which means, which makes me think that I have to have a referral to come here, even though it's the same company I, I go through for all my other medical stuff. And I'm like, yeah, my allergy doctor, but he didn't really refer me. He just says, I need to see somebody for this um, because he can't do it. So I decided to call within 
the same clinic. I don't know. So I'm really, really nervous that they're going to come in and basically said that I need a referral or something on the end where basically this appointment is going to go nowhere. Um, but yeah, so I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in. We'll see what she says or he says. And just keep our fingers crossed that I actually get tested for what I came I came here to get tested for, you know. Um, and if not, maybe I will just take uh, a sleep right here on this um, beautiful bed and hope that my protest makes them do some testing for me. Okay, so guys, <laughs> um, I didn't get tested once again, and. <laughs> I'm not surprised, you know, because that's just how things work with me. I don't know. Then she goes, well, I told her about my symptoms. She goes, that's really extreme. She goes, honestly, even if we tested, if there was a such thing of a test for fragrance, um, which there isn't, that you most likely are allergic to it. She goes, um, but even if you were allergic and there was a test, there's no treatment for it, you know, that what we would all say is, just stay away from fragrances, you know? And so, it's the same thing if like you had a food allergy, you just stay away from the food. Um, but then she was like, is there like an underlying like condition that I don't know about? And I was like, no, no, not exactly, but yes. Um, I said that we all, we meaning few doctors and all think that I have mast cells. She goes, well, that makes sense, and et cetera, blah, blah, blah. And she told me that there's a doctor right here in cities that sees people if he's still there if he hasn't retired she hasn't spoken to him in a year and a half but she knows him really well and he is phenomenal and i she suggests me seeing him but uh the waiting list is like two to three years so i'm gonna call uh, that's that sorry my camera's moving because i'm turning to get on the parkway and so yeah so I, she was really sweet and unlike the other doctor yesterday mayo i don't know he just seemed like he just thought i was crap and i was just finding things that that was wrong with me you know like a hype what is it hypo hypochondriac or whatever but she was nice and she was sweet and she was like we will test you if you want for you know for like topical stuff like lotions and things and i go no she goes i just don't want to waste your time because it's gonna be it's we have to do patches like a patch um um testing and it takes about five days and the first three days you can't shower and it's pretty awful whatever that means so yeah, that's that so <laughs> all right went two days worth of allergy testing and two days of no actual testing literally just driving gas time parking money or money for, for parking and i had no results so i guess tonight i'll just do some research on this doctor and go from there and hope that uh you know she goes the mast cell makes sense and you know that makes sense and why you have such really bad allergies to certain things and things that aren't the, the norm or whatever so i don't know